Ah, Shikabu Salam. I am terribly sorry to hear about that fire in your oil fields. It must be costing you millions. Of course, my petrochemical concern has great expertise in dealing with such accidents. Yes, they could be there by this evening, and then perhaps we can reconsider that rather exorbitant price you quoted me last week. I look forward to hearing from you, at your convenience, of course. I, every inch, a king. King Lear, Act 4, Scene 5. King Lear. Act four, scene six. And the speech continues, when I do stare, see how the subject quakes. I would advise you to bear that in mind if you've come seeking revenge, as I assume you have. I have. But not against you. I stood by and allowed Helsing to seal you into that crypt, and you don't bear a grudge. I did it first. I spent long, bitter hours consumed with thoughts of vengeance. But then I realized that you were right. Indeed. I had a great deal of time to think, Alexander. Eventually, I realized that I had no one to blame for my predicament but myself. And? I was too rash, too emotional, too unstable. That's what got me trapped in there. I know that now. Take me back, Alexander. I shall prove as loyal and dedicated a soldier as you could ever want. So the prodigal son returns, and I'm expected to slay the fatted calf and say that all is forgiven. Well, no. What if I were to offer you a triumph you've so long desired? What if I were to offer you Gustav Helsing? Easier said than done, as I have learned from bitter experience. With all due respect, I have one great advantage in dealing with Helsing. 